Hey beautiful babes, Sweet Angel here. Today's video is a little bit different right here on Behind the Scenes because again, we are talking about things behind the scenes. You all may already know that your girl already has several channels behind the scenes, which is right here, Beauty by Sweet Angel, Sweet Angel Live, and Sugar Fingers. I also have a channel for my animals, my guinea pigs, and my dogs. However, I'm not going to include that in this whole scenario right now. But let's talk about the fact that your girl just got monetized on Sugar Fingers. Yes, all of that work put in and your girl wasn't getting paid okay not from google adsense but guess what it is now monetized and i am now reaping all of the benefits of all of the videos i've already uploaded on that channel but i'm coming at a different perspective for those who already have a channel and they set up another channel under that same umbrella now i want to talk about what happens when your youtube channel gets monetized and you already have a channel monetized okay so the process is a little bit different of course if you're starting fresh but for me i'm already a veteran in the game and going forward this channel now is monetized so therefore Google AdSense will add in whatever dollars I earn throughout the month on Sugar Fingers to my Google AdSense payment. So that is amazing. And the other amazing part is, which is really great, when you are a new YouTuber, first channel, you must accumulate $100 before they remit those funds to you. Now, if you already have a channel that is already getting $100 plus, those funds from your new channel, once it's monetized, will get added on to that. So it doesn't matter if it's $100 or if it's $50 or if it's $25. That's something that I found out once my channel behind the scenes was monetized. So when I first started, even though I wasn't pulling in $100, whatever I earned throughout that month did come on to my check on the 21st when I got paid. So now let's talk about what I had to do once I got monetized. There are certain things that's definitely going to play a role in what you do in order to make sure you get your money. So let's get to that right now. I do want to give you some reminders about what happens or what has to happen before you're able to apply to the YouTube partner program. So first, let's talk about subscribers. You have to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel before you can even begin this process. 1,000 subscribers. So if you see someone that does not have 1,000 subscribers on their channel, they are not earning money through Google AdSense. On their YouTube videos. They could be getting paid sponsorships, but they are not earning money on their YouTube channel. The other thing is very important. You must have 4,000 watch time hours on your videos over the last 12 months. So that's a running 12 months. So every day it accumulates, every day it accumulates over the last 12 months. So calculating that 4,000 watch hours. That's 240,000 minutes that viewers would have viewed your videos, your channel. So 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours. Until that happens, you cannot apply to the YouTube Partner Program. Now, you must comply with all of the YouTube policies and guidelines as well. So you can't have any flags on your channel. Now, I'm not saying that you won't get 
in the YouTube Partner Program, let's say you had some music issues, uh, copyright. As long as it's not a copyright strike, you should be fine. I know that that's happened to many people before, but you should be fine. But there again, each individual YouTube channel, once it gets to the point where you can apply, will be individually reviewed. And then if you're new to the whole AdSense program, you have to have an AdSense account set up. For me, that was already done previously because again, I already have Beauty by Sweet Angel that has been monetized now for years. So that's the other thing that's needed. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Now I'm upset with myself because I promised myself that I would try to provide additional information that I didn't really see out there on any of the other channels so that you all would know what to look for. And unfortunately, either I didn't save my information or I cannot find it right now. But if you go into your YouTube studio dashboard, there would be a column there that would show monetization. If you're not monetized, it's going to just let you know that once your channel reaches those benchmarks of 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, you would be able to, at that point, apply to be a YouTube partner. And until that time, it's just going to sit there and subsequently you can apply through that link or on the other token, they will also email you and let you know that you can go ahead and submit your application. But anyway, this is on the dashboard on my Sugar Fingers channel. There is a list of different little icons that you can click on and one is monetization. When I clicked there, once I reached my benchmarks, I was able to go ahead and apply, but they also sent me an email. So once you have gotten that email and you apply, the money doesn't kick in immediately. You still have to wait until they send you an email saying, yes, you've been accepted. Now be sure when you receive that email, you read it thoroughly because it gives you some great information that you should take heed to. And that part of it is, of course, what kind of content you can monetize, different ways you can monetize on YouTube, how to monetize specific videos, and monetization icon guide. So it gives you some really good pointers that you might want to check out. Even though you've made it to that point, there's a lot of things that can prevent certain videos from being monetized, certain content that cannot be monetized. So be careful and watch it out for those things and read that information in detail. And then, bada, I finally got my welcome into the YouTube Partner Program. I was so happy. Yes, yes, yes. And it still wasn't the end of the work that I had to do in order to get monetized on all of my videos. It was just the beginning. Considering I had uploaded over 100 videos to get to this point, y'all, I then had to go into each one of those videos to turn on the monetization switch. And if you did not know, any video that's eight minutes or longer, you can actually set your ads to run in specific spots. That doesn't mean it'll always accurately run where you set for it to run, but you can at least attempt to make that happen, which means that you can run as many ads as you want to, as long as they run based on, you know, YouTube's parameters. So, Anywho, I had to get busy. So this is the next portion of this. This is just basically my little story time on how I got from point A to point B on my nail channel called Sugar Fingers. So now you see me physically going into each and every video 
and turning on monetization, which is where you see the little dollar sign change from a dollar with a line through it to the green dollar sign. That's where that takes place at. So I did all of that. It took a minute to go and complete all of that, but then you turn around and have to check out the ones that are at least eight minutes long if you want to add in additional ads to run on that video you can also do that and here under your YouTube dashboard this is where you would do that ad you would actually go into monetization you can click on that and it'll take you to your video monetization screen which of course you would have put on monetization on which there's just a little drop down that'll show on or off uh, either one you know we want it on so that's what I click there and then you select whether you want overlay ads sponsored cards skippable videos or non skippable video ads I did all of them <laughs> that's how most of my videos are I want whatever can earn money on the channel to happen if it's going to happen and then uh, do you want your video ads to run before your video which is a pre-roll during your video mid roll or after your video post roll and I of course have all of those selected as well and then if your video is at least eight minutes long you can actually select the during video ads mid roll to be placed at natural breakpoints to balance the viewer experience and creator revenue so yes I want that so I go into my manage mid roll and generally when I put my video ads out there I try to make sure the first ad doesn't play until around maybe two minutes and 30 seconds into the video uh, there and about and then for the rest of them I just kind of section them off from there all you have to do in order to add one you just move the little cursor bar to where you want it to start and click on add break right there and when you first get onto it there's usually a little add break little blue letters right in the center and you can click right there and click starting to add as well but that is how you do that so this one is already pretty much set where i want it to as you can see there's about six seven six or seven ads that can run on this one potentially and a before the video starts ad as well as an after ad so that's where that comes into play i just click continue and save and that's how that is done there and beautiful babes that is it i just wanted to share that little tidbit with you to help you kind of understand that the process really still is in your court until at such time you dribble the ball and make it all do what it do once they accept you into the youtube partner program so that is my take on it. If you have any questions, drop that down in the comments. I'll do my very best to respond and answer for those of you who are interested in YouTube and what it entails behind the scenes to find out what to do and how to do in my own terminology and my own way. Because, you know, I am not the pro YouTuber. I'm just here for it to make it do what it do as best I can. And if I can help someone in the meantime and in between time, that's what I love to do. I'm your girl, Sweet Angel, signing out for now. Thanks for hanging out with me right here on Life with Sweet Angel and Mike behind the scenes. Just giving you a little behind the scenes as to what it takes to get a channel going and growing. And since you're behind the scenes with me right now, make sure you look in the i card the little i that's right above this video in the corner there make sure you go ahead and subscribe to sugar fingers and help it to continue to grow that is my nail channel i appreciate you forever thank you so much take care of yourselves and i'll see y'all on the next one like comment subscribe and if you got some value out of this video today make sure you drop a like on it 
and also put some hearts in the comments. I'll see you on the next one, beautiful babes, and please continue to share me with your world. Bye now.